Kurt here from Paradise Adventures. I'm out camping uh, for the next couple of days. I'm at a, a one of my favorite campsites, Snow, Ke Snow Creek Campground in Port Alberni. And unfortunately, I didn't get the my favorite site. Uh, somebody beat me to it, which has lake access right from the site. But we're going to stay in this one here, which uh, we were here a couple weeks ago, and it's quite nice. It has river access. I'll show you guys a little bit later. I'm uh, just setting up camp. I'm going to be here for a couple days and then going back into town, picking up the girlfriend, the little one. And then uh, we'll have the, the next couple days after that through the weekend. Weather's supposed to be fantastic. And while I'm here, I'm going to knock off some product reviews, show you guys some of the gear that I have. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to finish setting up camp and then uh, we'll take a look around, maybe go to the lake, do some fishing. curtain you can get for this Ozark Trail gazebo. Just gonna stick it up. So there you have it, there's the Ozark Trail gazebo. That's just a cheap Walmart gazebo. Ozark Trail outdoor equipment. And I think it's 12 by 12. Let me just check the package here. Oh, no, it's actually, so it's 10 by 10. 10 by 10 gazebo with a sun wall. So the sun wall I have right here on the one side and use it more as like a privacy wall and I face it towards where the driveway is where other people can walk by and drive by so and then the mosquito netting was extra this 10 by 10 gazebo I picked it up at Walmart it was on sale for 89 bucks and we've used it three or four times now on camping trips this year and you know what for the price it's done really well I mean this the cover is not heavy duty at all it's just an, a light nylon the water if it rains the water does bead off of it to a certain point but in a heavy downfall pour it, it'll come right in but it does help with the rain and then the mosquito knitting is great it just hooks on at different points and you got a doorway on one side and another doorway on the opposite side so it's quite roomy in here. It goes higher. This is actually only the one. See, it's clicked in there and go two more height, two more sizes higher. So I just keep it on the low one in case it gets windy. And um, I mean, I'm six foot three and I can stand up in here no problem. So don't really have a need to raise it up any higher. 
But yeah, so it makes up for a nice little area to get away from the mosquitoes and wasps. What we mainly use it for is we got a quick pop-up tent here. Another Ozark Walmart special four-person instant dome tent. And then what I do is I put it inside the gazebo and then we can zip it up. So for the girlfriend and the little one, the little girl can hang out in there and not worry about getting bitten by mosquitoes. So they sleep in that and then I sleep in my Burma's tent up there. So for today, I'm not sure if I'll set up the tent today or not. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish setting up camp Getting everything ready, got the water jug, got my camp supplies bin, having a beer, and then it's such a beautiful day, I'm gonna head down to the lake and do some fishing. additional comfort in the rooftop tent I have a three inch memory foam in this tote right here is the, the foam that comes with the tent is a two and a half inch pretty high density foam but after the first night sleeping on it I was like I need something better than this so camp is set up. Aside from I gotta still set up the tent in there tomorrow for the girlfriend and the little girl but uh, my tent is set up so that's a two-person Burmese tent and I got the dog ramp set up so the dog ramp goes on to the ladder and if you want to know more about it I made a video about it of how to get your dog into a rooftop tent just check it out on my channel. But the tent is set up I got the extra memory foam in there, sleeping bag pillows, dog blanket. Got the table set up. Coleman stove. Jug of water, washing sink. Firewood chair. So I'm pretty hot. I think I'm going to, uh, it's hot off today. It's like, it's supposed to be 30 degrees and it's humid. So. I'm going to take a walk down to the river, cool down, have a drink down there before I go down to the lake for some fishing. So let's go have a look at this river. So there's the uh, walkway right out of the campsite here. Down the lake fishing. This is Sprout Lake. It's a huge lake here in the Bernie Valley. Not having much luck here fishing though. I fished here a couple times on this side. Haven't caught anything. At the other campsite that's around the corner, I've caught fish from before. But someone's in that campsite. And then over here to the right of me is the main beach access where there's lots of people there playing around enjoying themselves. So I just came out to the side just to chill out, try and get some fish. 
enjoy the view. And pretty soon I'm gonna go back to the truck later and maybe uh, light a fire, get some dinner going, get some tunes going, see how it goes. I got Mi Miracle Whip, Relish, Mustard, and some Swiss cheese in there. And then this is going to be Diamonds. Such a good idea to put these sausages and smokies into a in a wrap. All right, so just got back from the walk with Diamond. Went up to the waterfall. I'll show you the waterfall tomorrow because it's a little bit too dark to show you with the camera. But I thought I'd show you one last shot of the evening before it gets too dark. I don't have any external lights for filming, so I don't want to turn the ISO up too high. It'll look terrible. Got a nice campfire going. There's Diamond chilling out. Forgot to bring her a, a towel to lay on while she's not in the tent. Got the lights turned on in the tent. Just some Amazon fairy lights. Works really good actually, runs off some AA batteries. There's a link in the description below for some of those. While I'm at it, I'll show you, I got this lantern, this Coleman lantern that I've had for years actually. And this is the older version, but they do have a newer version. And it's LED, so you can see it's missing some lights there which I've got I'll show you in a second they're clipped on to various sections but what happens is you push this turns on LED and then what's cool about it is you push this button and it comes off and it's a portable light and each one has its own rechargeable batteries inside it and then when you stick it on the docking station clips in it recharges it up so it's got a handle you can carry it um, I've only ever I've had this thing for over six years and only this past year I replaced the rechargeable batteries in there that are triple-a batteries otherwise it takes eight D cell batteries in the bottom which I usually replace once once every camping season the beginning of the season I'll change it what I like about it is I attach carabiners to them and you can hang them off just about anywhere. So I usually hang them off the tension bars on the tent. And then one off the gazebo. It's definitely great for uh, having some ambient lighting in different areas of your camp when it gets dark. So you can see walking around. It's great for the kids because then they can take them into their tent. 
And when they're fully charged up, those, when it's detached from the base station, will last a few hours. You know when your battery on your base station is getting low, when those, when you take them off the station, is they, uh, they don't last very long. But I just changed those up, I think, uh, about a week ago, so they should be good. So there you go. What do you think, Diamond? You having a good time? So we've got the bush TV going on here with the fire. I'm not totally roughing it. I do have my phone that I've downloaded some Netflix shows and some Prime video movies. So I'm going to sign off for the night, watch a couple shows, crawl into bed there, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. We had a pretty good night's sleep last night. It's super warm, that's for sure. The, uh, just slept in a t-shirt and um, couldn't even really get underneath the sleeping bag. It was so warm. Had all the windows open um, and doors on the, on the tent. So it was a great night. Just listening to the uh, waterfall and the river beside me. Pretty quiet in the campground last night. Not too many people here. We just cooked up, uh, boiled up some tea and got the thermosel going. Mosquitoes were out this morning, so gonna get it going. If you guys uh, never used one of these, you should try it. Try it for the first time a few weeks ago and it works awesome. I'll put a link in the description below for one. But uh, the plan today is gonna set up the rest of the camp there for the girlfriend because um, they're coming tomorrow and gonna go up to the waterfall up there I'm gonna make a vlog of waterfall photography up there hopefully the lights gonna be cooperative so if you're interested in seeing that check out the uh, playlist under waterfall photography It'll probably be episode number nine for Snow Creek um, and then Probably head down and do some more fishing. Although today I'm going to do some fishing, I think, in a different spot. So yesterday I was at the main beach area. And um, it seems pretty shallow there. I did see a few fish rise, but... I think what I'm going to do is go down to the river that's right beside my campsite. And just walk the river. It's not too far. But walk the river right to the, uh, the lake. And then fish from that spot right at the mouth of the river see if I get some more luck there I think it drops off more there and um, that'd be a good spot to fish yeah so other than that just relax get some fishing done get some more uh, photography done set up rest of camp should be a good day this is the waterfall I was telling you about, the Snow Creek waterfall, right by my campsite. And it starts way up top and trickles down and there's the creek. I'm standing on a bridge right now. And then that creek flows right past my campsite. And then up above those falls, you can't see it now, but there's another double falls just above there. There's a trail on on this side it goes up and there's another waterfall up top so i'm going to do a uh, video vlog of photography for this one and uh like i said if you want to see it check it out in the playlist waterfall photography episode nine so i did my hike and photographs photographs through the waterfalls i just showed you earlier Went to the lower falls and the upper falls. Got some pretty good shots, I think. Um, and now, 
I'm out fishing and this time I decided to do a different spot. So that creek that is right there. So that creek follows right up to my campsite. So all I did was I walked down to the creek all the way to the mouth of the river here. And I'm hoping I have some better luck. I'm doing bottom fishing. 99% of my fishing is bottom fishing. It's not often I use lures unless I actively see some fish arising and jumping around. But uh, we'll see. I've caught some pretty big fish out of this lake. Not in this particular spot, but on the other side. There's some big rainbows in here. There's even a uh, salmon run comes in here. Sockeye ran where it's about a... Uh, Sockeye came in here about a month ago. Now the coho and Chinook are coming through. They go right up through here to uh, Taylor River. Anyway, just gonna hang out, fish for a while, have a couple of drinks, and enjoy the sun. So just got a fire going. Gonna sit here, watch the fire, make a drink, enjoy the rest of the evening. I think we're gonna sign off now. Tomorrow I'm heading into town and uh, picking up the girlfriend and the little girl. And we're gonna spend two more nights here. But I'm gonna sign off with you guys. And thanks for watching if you made it this far. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you already haven't, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure.